The Alamo City looks a whole lot different from above. New details you never noticed before start to appear. Like this charming Italian-style trattoria, tucked inside a 100-year-old hotel. Great little restaurant right here in downtown. Inside, homemade ribbons of scratch-made pasta roll off the press, while hand-tossed Neapolitan pizza bakes in the wood-fired oven. Buttery Akaushi beef rollatini is drenched with fragrant marsala and mushroom sauce. And family and friends raise a glass to La Dolce Vita, the sweet life at Nona Osteria. Very good, very good. This warm and welcoming bistro is nestled inside the newly renovated Fairmont Hotel. It's, it's light and airy and it's, it's a great atmosphere. This place oozes European charm. Very much a reminder of us our trips to Italy. Impeccable synchronized service sets the tone here. And one of their specialties, a decadently delicious butter parmesan pasta, dramatically prepared right before your eyes, topped with shaved Italian truffles. At the helm of this airy open kitchen is Food Network star finalist, Chef Luca Della Casa. His attention to detail is something he learned, of all places, leaping out of airplanes. The first times uh, that I tried to jump, the experience was getting out of the plane and, and, and before I knew it, I was on the ground. Thank uh, God I'm on the ground. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but once you become familiar with the whole thing, uh, you start analyzing things differently. And, and by the fifth time that I was jumping, that jump lasts forever. Lucas started seeing the world in slow motion, noticing every nuance of the ground below. In terms of 25, this is uh, no mushroom. A lesson in subtleties he now brings to the delicious dishes at Nona's. We try to be as authentic as possible. And so grandmother uh, in Italian is Nonna, and Nonna seems to fit uh, perfectly uh, this type of concept, and that's nice. how we decide on the name. So did any of the recipes come from your grandmother? Uh, there are some dishes uh, like the eggplant parmigiana, or how I make the gnocchi, or the tiramisu. Uh, those are exactly the way uh, she used to make it. His grandmother's table was also the inspiration for authentic antipasti plates, traditionally shared at Sunday dinner. My favorite is the polipo e potate, a warm octopus and potato salad. Oh, that is delicious. Well, thank oh you. Oh my gosh, you could eat it with a spoon. <laughs> For real, that's fantastic. You, you just make me happy like grandma, right? Whenever, whenever people eat my food, this is the best I can get. It's fresh, simple. Just like the Italian way. You'll taste fresh layers of flavor in this parpadel al cingale, made with raised wild boar, tossed in brandy and cream sauce. You'll discover a unique blend of sweet and savory in the seada, a dessert from Sardinia. There's a lot more to take in outside of Nona's front door, like the century-old Fairmont Hotel. A hotel that once made history. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest building uh, moved on wheels. One of the standouts is this beautiful rooftop bar with one of the best views in the city. We had like a plain canvas to play with. So it was a great opportunity for me. So Luca crafted his dream kitchen and started reinventing those family recipes. Like this super delicious gnocchi with an easy eggplant mousse. So we have uh, three eggplants that we roasted in the oven. We just coat them uh, with a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. Then come sautéed shallots, garlic, tomato sauce, and balsamic vinegar. And uh, we're going to finish it up uh, with a cap uh, of uh, uh, basil leaves. All of them? All of them, yeah. That's we're a not going to be basil. shy. We're not going to be shy with the basil, exactly. I love it. King trumpet mushrooms, red onions, and cherry tomatoes are seared. It's all plated with homemade gnocchi, tossed with butter and parmesan. Braised pork belly gives this dish a smoky, salty goodness. A little micro basil adds the finishing touch. Mm. Whoa. That's fantastic. That mousse is good. You can put that on so many things. Yeah. Simple, fresh, homestyle Italian in the heart of the Alamo City. That's what you'll find at Nona Osteria.
I love the Italians. Fantastic. The best food. <laughs> the best. Buon appetito. <laughs> Grazie.